Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming with a indie brand. I tried Jolie Beauty for the first time in 2021 and I've been loving their stuff ever since. So if you guys wanna see a look, swatches, and hear my first impression thoughts on their new palette, then just keep watching. If this is your first time finding my channel, my name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. When I first got on YouTube, I had the hardest time finding videos for somebody with my skin tone, so I decided to take matters into my own hands, start up a YouTube channel so that I can make some content for the tan girls out there. So if that sounds good to you, I upload three to four times a week. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbing, let's get into it. Okay, so I have a little bit of my base on just so we can speed things along. But this is the newest palette from Jolie Beauty. It's called Ethereality. I think I said that right. And I think this one is inspired by like fairies. I just love the vibe of Jolie Beauty because their stuff is like very fantasy driven, which is so cool. And I'm going to pop up close ups while I'm talking about this palette. But I love when brands stick to a theme when it comes to their packaging. So I love that the Jolie palettes are all the same size. I have three of them. I think I have all three that they've done. And then the cool thing about this palette is the beautiful packaging and of course the gorgeous shades on the inside. There's so much detail. It says on the mirror, dancing with fairies underneath the stars. And it's just got little like silver embellishments all around the mirror, which is so, so cute. So I did swatch this palette and I will say I've seen a few different formulas. So it has mattes, it's got some pressed glitters, it's got metallics, and then it's got two beautiful, like intense duochrome, triochrome kind of shadows. So I definitely want to play with those because I love that formula. They're a little bit thinner than a metallic, but they pack a punch. So I'm very excited to put those on my eyes. Also on the back here, it says the palette is a net weight of 56 grams. The batch code is on there. It says cruelty free, vegan with a 12 month shelf life. All the ingredients are on the back here and it says that this palette was designed and developed in the UK and made in the PRC. The owner of Jolie Beauty, I believe is a YouTuber as well. So you can definitely look up their channel, but yeah, very, very cool. And I also grabbed my other two palettes just to show you guys. I do have a video, I think with the, I think I have videos with both of these. I do have a playlist as well, so recommend checking it out. If this is your first time hearing about the brand, this is their first palette. This is the Sorcerer's palette. Look at this color story, so stunning. And then last year they launched Vampirism, which looks like this. And now we have Ethereality, which I'm so, so excited about. On the back here, it also says the Ethereality palette draws inspiration from the pastel use of the most mystical of creatures with their holographic wings sparkling in the dusk. At first you see them, then you don't. Gone in the blink of an eye, leaving the beholder utterly bewildered, a figment of one's imagination. Let's bring that fantasy to Ethereality. That is so cool. Anyway, okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Did I say I'm excited? Let's go ahead and play with the palette. Okay, so I primed my eyes with the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. I just bought this in the shade white because I wanted to try it out as an eyeshadow base. This is my second time wearing it, and I'm pretty excited. I feel like I'm always on the hunt for a good white eye base, and this one does a really good job. So let's get started. Okay, so I definitely want to do like a green <laughs> look. Are you guys surprised? So I'm going to start off with the shade Kingdom, which is up here. It's like a light green so so pretty and we're just gonna blend that into the crease i just really remember loving my experience with the other two jolie beauty palettes so when my friend told me they had launched a third one i was like okay let me grab that it's a little bit pricey i think i paid like 60 bucks total. Okay, you guys, this green is so pretty. I love it so, so much. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Eldar. I think is how you say it. It's like a dark green here on the very last row. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. Deepen it up a little bit. I definitely would like to do more looks with this palette. So let me know if you guys would like to see it. 
I feel like I've been doing a lot of new makeup videos on my channel recently, but it's just because there are so many new launches that I'm interested in. I actually really want to try the new Juvia's Place palette. That's like the pastel one. It's called like Juvia's Garden or something, but I just don't think I have the time to buy new palettes right now. And then I think there's something else too that I wanted that I'm like, no, no. But I'm trying so hard not to buy things just for the sake of like buying them. And then I just lose out. Oh, the Martine palette. That's that's the other palette I want. And I'm like trying not to buy because I can get carried away really quickly when it comes to palettes. And then I just sit there and I don't want to be that person right now. Um, so those are the two palettes I've been resisting. But I know the Martine one I was thinking that I would get if I tried the palette I already own from them. So <laughs> that's in the cards for sometime soon. Okay, so I'm going to go in to the black shade. When I swatched this black, it wasn't the most opaque black, which honestly I kind of like because I like to use black shades to just like deepen up the outer corner. So I'd rather have a black that's like buildable than like a super opaque black shade because then it'd be like harder to blend it. So I'd rather have a blendable black than a super opaque one in my opinion. And I know one of my YouTube friends was asking me, she's like, what's your favorite black shade as far as like a single? And I actually didn't really have a good answer. I told her maybe like Natasha Denona, I've heard the black that she sells a single is really good. But usually if I'm using a black eyeshadow, I just grab whatever palette I have laying around that has a black eyeshadow if I'm being honest with you guys. So anyway, the mattes are done. So now we're gonna play with the shimmers. I do wanna try out a new product. I picked this up because my friend Angie just did a Tarte video. And she was talking about how much she loved this highlighter. So this is the Maracuja Juicy Glow Highlighter from Tarte. And I got this shade, I got one darker, I got Amber Glow. And I was reading the gondola and it actually said that you could use this as a brow bone highlight. And I'm kind of curious and I just, of course, got my brows done. So I wanted to see if it would actually work as a brow bone highlight because I always feel like the shades in palettes are too light and this green shadow has now traveled all the way up to my brow bone so kind of want to take care of that real quick you guys will have to let me know can you see it <laughs> in my brow also this side got a little wild so I'm gonna have to fix that off camera but yeah I just grabbed this because Andrew was saying how much she liked it and I was so, so curious. And I kind of love the idea of having something like that conveniently so I can like keep it on my desk and just throw it on as a brow bone shade without having to think about it too much. So that was my thought on that. Anyways, let's go ahead and play with these shimmers. So I grabbed a flat brush and I'm gonna go into the shade. Um, it's called Even Star, I think. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna pick it up with this brush and we're gonna give it a little spray. Ooh, that's so sparkly, just like I thought it would be. You know what I need to do? I think I need to put down a metallic base. So I'm gonna go into Tink, which is like a light green. And I'm gonna put that on first. And then I'm gonna go back into the super pretty metallic shade. And we're just going to put that on on top. So as you can see, it's like so sparkly and beautiful. I love, love, love. So now let's do the lower lash line. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to do some blues. So I'm going to start off with the ColourPop eyeliner in DTLA. You guys know this is one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm grabbing a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the shade called Arwen or Armin. I can't tell, I think that's an M. And I'm gonna pop that on in the lower lash shine. I also wanna say, I think it's so smart that this palette is like a periwinkle palette because it's really a great palette if you wanna do a look based on the Pantone color of the year. I know that's not a thing for everyone, 
but I think that's kind of smart that there's a little bit of that in this palette too. So if you like a good theme, <laughs> you might really like this palette. Next I'm gonna use a dark blue just to kind of deepen up the outer corner. Okay, and then for the inner corner, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the white matte shade in the inner corner just to brighten things up. Okay, so this is pretty much the look. I'm gonna throw on some blush, some highlighter, some mascara, and I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, I'm back and my makeup look is done. So let's talk really quick about what else is on my face today. So I'm wearing the NAR Sheer Glow Foundation, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer, LYS Bronzer Stick that actually finally came back in stock on Sephora. So I grabbed the shade Tan. And I like it so far, it blends really nicely. It's definitely a stiffer formula compared to the Rare Beauty, which is way softer and it you can like blend that one away. This one's definitely a little bit of a creamier formula, so it does take a little effort to blend, but I'm still testing that one out. And then I'm wearing the Wet n Wild mascara, the Rare Beauty mascara that was sent to me. I'm not sure I love this mascara, but you guys know I'm a sucker for trying new mascaras all the time, so I will continue to try it and keep you guys posted. Lip combo today, I'm kind of living for. This is both from Lethal. So I'm wearing their Haze lipstick in Ethereal. And this is one of their new glosses. This is Ultraviolet. So, so pretty. I was talking about these in my Lethal video. And I had mentioned that I was a little bit intimidated because they're kind of duochrome -y. But I think that they are so nice when you pair them with a neutral shade it gives it a very natural glossy look and the formula is so so comfortable so i've really been enjoying lethal's new products love the lipsticks the blushes all of the things and then for blush today i'm wearing a new one this is the rms blush in maiden blush if these come back in stock i would highly recommend picking one up the blushes are so beautiful and they're a baked gelée formula and just very very beautiful and seamless which i love and then i did get a new highlighter in the mail so these are from estate cosmetics i was actually going through my makeup collection the other day and i was like i haven't heard from estate cosmetics in a while and then my husband let me know that i did have a package from them so this is the sauce which is a multi-purpose liquid illuminator and there's two shades so i have sunny and georgia i'm actually wearing the shade sunny today there's a little bit of sparkle in them but it blended out really nicely and it just has a really nice soft glow and then i of course use my maracuja juicy glow stick as well so those are the two highlighters i have on today and then i also use my mac fix plus setting spray which i was so excited about grab this as soon as I was able to at Ulta. So that's everything I'm wearing on my face today. Oh my gosh, my dog decided that she needed to come downstairs and go back upstairs and she's a boxer spaniel, so she's a bit of a bigger dog and it sounds like somebody's typing in my whole house at full volume, but it's just my dog because <laughs> her nails and we have like wood floors. Anyway, anyway. So I feel like I'm a bit of an eyeshadow expert, especially when it comes to green eyeshadows. I try out a lot of green eyeshadows and these are just not my favorite. I will say that I definitely need to try this palette out some more. So this is just a first impressions. I will keep you guys posted, but I'm just not loving the way the shadows kind of ended up on my eyeballs. So I need to see if it was the base or if it was the shadows. I need to try them out some more. As far as the two green shades in this palette that I tried on my crease, I feel like in the end they kind of both look very similar. I was expecting this green to be much darker on the outer corner but once I blended them together it looked pretty much like I had the same green shade alter my crease. So that was a little bit disappointing and I did say that I don't love having the most pigmented black but this one is definitely a little harder to build so keep that in mind. I think overall this has a very beautiful color story. I will also say these two sparkly shades, I only tried the one out, but I would probably recommend a glitter glue, especially if you have really sensitive eyes. I would hate for any of these sparkles to like fall in your eyes. And usually when I foil my eyeshadows, I don't have a problem with fallout, but I felt like I could feel a few of these specks kind of in my eyes. So definitely something I want to keep an eye on as the time goes on. I'll probably wear this eye look all day so i'll keep you guys posted in my july ranking video 
on if I was bothered by it or not. It is definitely something different that I hadn't felt with any other shadows that I filed and put on my eyes. So I definitely want to keep an eye out for that. Didn't really want to play with the pressed glitters, so I don't really have much thoughts on those. But overall, this is a nice palette. It's definitely not a love. I wouldn't say like stop, drop, and go and grab one of these. I will say I feel like I enjoyed the Vampirism palette and the Philosopher palette formula a little bit better. And so I think I had very, very high expectations for this palette. And maybe it's just me. I don't know. Like I said, I need to try it some more. But I was pretty surprised that these two greens just looked so similar when I put them on my eyes. So those are my quick first impression thoughts on this new Ethereality palette from Jolie Beauty. Let me know if you guys have heard of this brand. Were you considering picking this palette up? I love talking to you guys in the comment section, so I look forward to hearing from you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out, and I will see you in a new video very, very soon. Bye, guys!